Well, this instructional segment has to do with aiming and alignment of the body in relation to the aim. It's a very interesting concept about aiming. There's been all kinds of theories for years, and there's this system is better than that system. Uh, they all really boil down to the same thing, but uh, the old ghost ball theory, where you basically have a cue ball going into an object ball uh, and landing in what's called a position of a ghost ball. So I'm going to kind of explain that on the table here for you. If you look here very closely to what we've got set up, we, I've got three balls here, the one, two, and the three ball, and the eight ball. And this is basically to illustrate three cue balls when it comes to the aiming process. The actual cue ball would be the one ball. The follow through cue ball would be the two ball. And the target cue ball or the ghost ball is the three ball. And I'm going to kind of break these down separately for you. This first part is if you look over here by this eight ball, you'll notice that there is a, a unit that's underneath the eight ball. This used to be called the old ghost ball ghost uh, aim trainer. And uh, it resembled a ghost next to the object ball. So if I put that three ball right there, that's in a position which shows the line to the pocket that you want the eight ball to go into. So in other words, you take the pocket back to the eight ball. It comes out on this side of the eight to what's called the contact point, And the cue ball must strike in that position for the eight ball to go in. Now the problem is, is getting the cue ball to land in this position. So it's a very simple concept. The object ball is normally two and a quarter inches in diameter. And if you look at the circle here on the table, it's exactly two and a quarter inches in diameter. And the center of this is one and an eighth inches. Now it's not important that you remember the one and an eighth inches. It's just important that you remember that half the width of a cue ball is going to be your base, your line of your cue stick to that point when you're lining up for the shot. So, so basically here's how it works. I'm going to lay these aside for just a second. You're lining up from position for this, uh, we use the one ball in this case. We're lining up with the body back from the shot, stepping into the shot where the cue stick comes straight into the shot to the line of the center of the ghost ball right there. And when you come down like that, your cue is straight on that line. Now to make this real live effect, let's go ahead and put a cue ball up here. So again, we're standing back with our chalk, we're stepping into the shot with the cue stick under our shoulder right to the center of the ghost ball. And we go back and forth to the shot. Again, we're going through that pre-shot routine. I kind of cut that short, but you would go through your pre-shot routine, step back, and basically the ball lands right there. And you notice the cue ball lands on the center of this circle. Now, my wife has for years watched me teach, and she came up with a very interesting way of using a ghost ball concept in her own little uh, method of doing it, which is just amazing how easy this works. If you take a piece of chalk, we'll lay this back under so you can see it very quickly. If we take a piece of chalk and lay the chalk from corner to corner up against the contact point of the one ball, if you look at the back end of the chalk, this corner, it's right exactly in the center of that ghost ball. Now, when they invented the uh, chalk, they didn't actually know that the chalk from corner to corner was actually an aiming device. I discovered it by accident here a few years ago. But the bottom line is you're aiming the center of your cue ball for the corner of a piece of chalk. Now, if we get rid of this, I'll show you how my wife does this. Let's just do a couple of illustrations. She'll go and line up to the contact point on the object ball in line to the pocket. She'll drop down straight to the table. Then she'll pull her cue stick tip back an inch and an eighth or from corner to corner on a piece of chalk. That's also half the width of a ghost ball trainer, back to the cue ball. Then she has a straight line to shoot the cue ball down. And she just shoots straight down that line, just like this. Now, she also can do it from the side. Let's say we have an angle to it like this. She'll take a piece of chalk in her mind, put it against the ball to the pocket. So she'll line up. She knows where her tip has to be, to the center, down, pull back. And she simply swivels her cue stick like this over to the cue ball. And when you swivel your cue stick, now you're shooting down a straight line. So your pre-shot routine, step into the shot and simply shoot the shot like this down to the target. So it's amazing how easy this aiming technique is. You simply line up to the center of that ghost ball or visualize a piece of chalk to the edge of a piece of chalk and you can shoot hundreds and hundreds of shots without really this complicated theory of you got to do this and you got to do that. It's very simple. And that that I know of is not anywhere uh, in any book, but I've been teaching this now for several years and it's had a big impact on players. So I hope that uh, you learn how to use this simple Amy technique, uh, enjoy your game, and I also hope in particular that you've enjoyed this CSI instructional tip.